Hi everyone, it's Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Today I've got a fun card to share. It looks like two separate units, the tag and the card, but when you put the tag over the sentiment on the card, there is a magnet inside the tag as well as the card that snaps the two together. So it looks like one card initially until you separate the two. So as you can see, there's one magnet in the center and it will help the tag swivel and be positioned however you'd like. And then when you pull it apart, you get two separate things and they can be used separately. So let's get started with our projects today. I have the Cheery Cherries dies and this die is so much fun. It's just so cute. It's small and it doesn't require a whole lot of work. Um, you can definitely die cut this with colored cardstock. When I'm die cutting several like this to create a full background as well as a tag, I like to die cut it several times. And instead of die cutting a lot of times through the die cutting machine or snipping my dies apart, I just like to simplify it by die cutting with white cardstock and then adding color by ink blending with dye inks. So I'm using some Lawn Fawn inks here. I'm using lobster ink first to add a just a smooth layer of ink over all of the cherries. And as you can see, I'm leaving the little cherries in the negatives because that will help me not put my fingerprints all over the cherries. And so it'll give me some grippage. Um, and if you want to use a sticky mat, you can too. I just don't like to have red ink all over my sticky mat. So this is the way I like to do it. And if your negative likes to pop out your images, you can always tape it on the back like I'm doing right now. So again, I'm adding a layer of lobster ink on the outer edges, concentrating the color on the outer edges and blending inward. Um, that way we get a darker gradient of color around the edges for some shading. When I'm done with all of my cherries, I'll go ahead and use chili pepper ink to add ink all around the edges and intensify the colors. Then I'll move on to the jalapeno ink and add that to my leaves. And I'm not doing a whole lot of masking here. I just didn't want too much green on my stems. You can also pop them out if they're in your way. I just didn't find that to be a big problem. So when I was done ink blending the leaves, I went ahead and moved on to the stems using pizza crust first. Like on the cherries, I wanted a light blend of color first and then I'll pop everything out so that I can get more concentrated color with a darker brown using walnut ink on the edges and ends of these stems. And all of this looks like a lot of ink and depth at first but the ink does lighten up as it dries. When all of the ink blending is done I'll set it aside and we'll move on to our card front. Right now, I'm just going to position this circle tag die over a white panel, and I'm just going to use a pencil to outline the circle tag. This is going to help me position my cherries for my background, as well as leave space for a sentiment on my card later. I'm going to die cut that circle tag out of white cardstock, and then I'm going to use fruit salad paper to have a border for both my tag and my card. So this fruit salad paper, I'm going to pick a red for the background of the card. And for the background of the tag, I'm going to use a scallop circle stackable to die cut a green piece for some additional color. So we also want two layers on each element, the card and the tag, because we want to hide this magnet. These magnets are 5 eighths of an inch wide and they're super thin so you can hide them easily in your projects. So I've got two here and I'm going to add one to the center of the circle that I drew on my card panel as well as on this scalloped tag. It can be behind the tag itself or on the scallop piece. It doesn't matter. And I'm just going to use some desk tape to adhere them to the cardstock and then see how they snap together if they're centered or need to be adjusted. I had eyeballed where I stuck these down. So if you want to be more careful, you can measure with a ruler for the centers before adhering them down. So it looks pretty good. What I'm going to do to adhere these together now is use some low profile 3D foam squares to not only give my project some dimension but also to hide those magnets as well. My card panel is trimmed down to three and three quarters by five inches. That's a quarter inch off all of the sides of an A2 size panel. And then this part I could have skipped. I went ahead and added all the 3D foam squares to the back of this panel, but I really should have waited until after I created my background. I just held off on removing the release paper on the back of all of those squares so I can go ahead and create my background. 
Before creating my background, I am just quickly adding these stems to my cherries just with a little dab of glue at the top of these cherries and then securing the stems in place and using an acrylic block to weigh it all down as I work my way through all of the cherries that I made. Okay, so now that I have all of my cherries made and put together, I can go ahead and create a background. I'm gonna use liquid adhesive and I'm just gonna form a cherry background um, steering clear of that circle that I created at the center for my sentiment to block out that area and I'm just adding stems here and there and adding half cherries so that I can properly fill up the entire panel all around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and secure a cherry to my tag as well. Then to trim off all the loose ends of my card, I can go ahead and butt up the edge along the cutting line of my trimmer and then chop off all of the extra stems and cherries that are hanging off. I'm using a eraser now to just erase that light pencil line that I drew for that circle tag and then remove all the release paper on the back and then adhere this to the red gingham paper from the fruit salad petite paper pack that I used for the background. And as you can see there, the tag snaps onto that card. So now we can work on the sentiment. I have the How You Bean Strawberries add-on stamp set, and that has some good berry sentiments on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the word berry and die cut the word cherry from Henry's ABCs so that we have the nice big large word for cherries at the center of our card. And then I can cut up the rest of the sentiments for the tag and sub sentiments for the card. So I have Henry's ABCs here and I'm just picking out the word cherry and die cutting it in black cardstock. And I'm just doing one layer today and I'm using some Glad Press and Seal to pick up my letters once I've aligned it on my glass grid mat. And then I'll add some glue and then line it up onto my card in that area and make sure that it's all straight using a T ruler. I'll just do some minor adjustments on my letters and make sure that everything is straight. And then I'll position my tag right over the word and make sure that it still snaps in place and the word cherry is hidden. Then I can go ahead and adhere my sub sentiments on my card and then finish up with the sentiments on my tag as well. As you can see, it's all very one layered. We don't want too much dimension on the sentiments specifically on the card because we don't want more space between the two magnets. And then to finish it all up, we just need some twine for our tag. So I'm using some red and white twine here. I'm tying a knot to hold the two ends together and then I'll trim that and then loop it through the hole of the tag and then secure it in place. And then that finishes our projects. So we have a tag and a card and it looks like one when it's put together, but then you can see here that it swivels around and I just think it's so much fun to be able to swivel that around and that tag can be positioned so that the card looks landscaped before you pull it off. And then once it's pulled off, they're two separate elements. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you're interested in any of the products that I use, be sure to check out the links below where everything will be linked for your convenience. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.